Hey guys and welcome. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this little drawstring bag which is the perfect size to fit your matching face mask in. If you're interested in making a face mask I can link the tutorial for that one up in the top right hand corner for you now and if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe for more crafting videos like this. Now on with the tutorial. Now what you will need is a piece of fabric 6 inches by 17 inches long, some ribbon or some string, a ruler and a pencil, some pins and a safety pin. Now our first job is to fold the fabric in half lengthways right sides together. So this will become the bottom of your bag. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to press it down and we're going to iron down the hems at the top. So we've got the fabric and I've got my iron on. So all we're going to do is we're going to iron down the folded bit at the bottom. So we get our pencil and our ruler and we just mark one centimetre down from the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold that over and we're going to press that down. And then flip it over and do the same to the other side. So we've got a nice neat top line now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the ruler again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to measure four centimetres down, do another little marking. Now if you've got a ruler, this ruler is exactly four centimetres, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to fold it over. Again, slide the ruler out and then just press that down. And with a couple of pins, just secure that down. And what you want to do is you want to flip it over and we're going to do the same to the other side. So four centimetres, measure it with your tape measure if you haven't got a ruler and then fold it over and they should meet up nicely. So again press, try not to go over the pins underneath. Now just put a couple of pins either side. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew from here all the way down to here on both sides, leaving this bit open. So from just below here all the way down to the bottom on both sides. So now I've got my fabric in place, what I'm going to do is a simple straight stitch all the way down to the bottom. Now place your needle in the fabric and don't forget to back stitch a couple. just remove the pins from the top and trim the loose threads.
Now when you're doing it, you want to make sure you're going all the way to the top. And then flip it over and do it on the other side. You can just fold that bit over a slight bit and it should be able to press it down. This is the tunnel that our ribbon will eventually go through. So what we're going to do now is just pin it down. You can see why it's important to press now, just to get it neat. Now, and just make sure you're going through only one side of the fabric, which is quite tricky, but you can do it. And I like to just do it on each end, just to keep the fabric in position. So now what we need to do is we need to sew along here on both sides, but make sure we don't sew it closed. So you're going to need to open it up and sew that way and then flip it over and sew along that way because it's very easy to mistakenly just sew straight along there and then you've sewn it it's completely closed you can't open it now my number one tip for sewing this will be to remove your plate at the bottom most machines you can just slide it off and that way you've got a smaller area so you can just slot the bag over that bit and get it in position. That way you can turn it round like that. It's much easier to control. Once you've got it, pop your press foot down, do a couple of back stitches and just start sewing around. Flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side.